Hey everybody, it's Jason, and you are probably asking yourself, why are we in a pitch dark room? Well, because today we are going to review Inland's Glow in the Dark PLA. Um, as you can see, it glows really nicely. Um, you can see the infill a little bit in the glow where it's a little more dense. This is filled at 20%. Um, obviously, if it was solid, that wouldn't be an issue, but anytime you've got something hollow, there's more glow in the dark material in the center than there is on the outside, so it's going to glow a little bit more. Um, but otherwise, it glows just beautifully. As you can see, the letters show up nice and clear, um, very crisp. Um, so let's go uh, back out to the corner, and uh, I will talk about how this actually printed. All right, guys, we're back here. We're back in the corner. Um, here's the piece we were actually looking at in there. Give you a good look at that. Um, this was printed at 205 on a 65 degree bed. Um, something I want to point out right away is make sure if you're going to print growing dark, you've got yourself a hardened nozzle. Otherwise, you are going to wear out your brass nozzle really quickly. Um, some glow in the darks, not all, but some glow in the darks are actually more abrasive than a carbon fiber. Uh, so you're going to want to be very careful and make sure that you've got either a uh, plated nozzle or a, an actual steel nozzle. Um, either one of those should be fine, just no brass nozzles. You're going to, I've heard as little as 300 uh, grams of the stuff run through it and all of a sudden your .4 becomes a .6. Um, so that's just something to remember to start with. So let's go ahead and start with the packaging. Um, it's like I said, it's inland. Um, comes in a basic box, nothing special about that. Um, same spool as all the other inland PLAs. It's got that nice feature of having the printing instructions on both sides of the spool. So no matter how you do it, it's going to be able to be read. Uh, it's wound nicely, works well. Um, it does come in a uh, vacuum sealed bag, desk kit bag in there. Um, it, it's Inland PLA. It, it packages just like Inland PLA does. Um, the print. So as you can see, the print turned out really nice. Um, I expected to have a little bit more troubles with it being something, you know, a specialty filament. Um, none. It's fantastic. The only complaint I can come up with, the layer lines are hardly visible. Uh, the transitions on the indent here, hardly visible. Um, you can't even hardly feel them. The letters are crips. The only thing, it's got a tiny bit of elephant foot. I think I could probably fix that by actually adjusting out um, and tuning it a little bit more. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I got to have something that I can say that's uh, maybe not perfect about it. That's the only thing I can come up with. Um, this stuff printed, it printed lovely. I printed some other stuff uh, with this already as well. And, and it just it just works like a normal PLA. Um, just remember to have that hardened nozzle. Um, so this one, it uh, I got it on sale at $14.99 in the store in Chicago, uh, Micro Center. Um, you can get it online. I think it's, I want to say, I got it on sale. I want to say it's normally $19.99. Let's see what the box says. I know it's on the box. Yes, it's normally $19.99, so it still qualifies if you get it in store. I think it's $2 more if you get it uh online um it might be three dollars more either way for a specialty filament for a glow in the dark filament that is a great deal um especially one that prints so predictably i mean it prints like normal inland pla um so this one 100 percent this is a budget um now talking about inland pla i want to show you guys something um it's just kind of an extra thing it's something i'm printing right now so here give me a second and i'll show you that to you all right, guys, what we're looking at here, this is uh, Inland's Blue PLA. So it doesn't show up the best on camera, but what we're seeing here is it's actually a really nice, shiny, almost semi-translucent PLA. Um, it, it's my new favorite blue. Um, this is actually going to be a case for my phone. Um, so I just wanted to show you this guy. Um, Inland is it's fantastic stuff. I am loving this stuff. Um, so I can't think of a single inland filament right now that I wouldn't call a budget filament. Um, so here, let's uh, go back to the regular corner. So yeah, that's what I'm printing right now. Um, and it's turning out beautifully. It's another one from inland and it's great stuff. Um, so the glow in the dark inland PLA, absolutely budget. Um, that blue one's one I'm not actually going to review, but it, it's budget as well. It actually is the same as I think we reviewed a baby blue inland PLA uh, maybe a couple weeks ago and that one was budget um, it's the same stuff but this one is just it's very very nice um, 
it's very pretty color. So, inland, pretty much so far, inland is budget. Um, this glow inland, the other inlands, all the inlands, they're all budgets. Um, so if you like what you're seeing, click that subscribe button down below, hit that, uh, hit that bell so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. We got lots of new content coming. Um, you know, I know this was kind of a quick video. I'm hoping that works better for you guys. I'm noticing a lot of people are kind of chopping off in the middle, so I want to try and shorten things up a little bit for y'all. Um, we've still got the protopasta reviews coming up. We've got Inland's PETG. Is it going to fit with the trend? It's not a PLA. We'll see what happens. Uh, we also have zero PLA still coming. Um, we've got another one that's actually success suggested by one of the subscribers coming. Um, so lots of content. We've still got my enclosure coming. I, there's just tons coming at you guys. So if, like I said, if you're liking it, click that subscribe, ring that bell, and come back often. Leave me comments. Let me know any suggestions you've got. Uh, any uh, ideas you have, I'm always looking for content ideas. Let me know. I'm Jason. This is the 3D Printing Corner. Everybody have a good afternoon.